Hello everybody and welcome for a look around the interior and the cockpit of this 1993 C-Ray 230. Now what we'll do is we'll take a good look around the cockpit on the interior to give you an idea of her layout, what her features are etc etc and if you might like her. So as you may imagine I'm sitting at the stern of the boat. Out of the back there we can almost see uh, a small swim platform out there with a swim ladder as well and an auxiliary outboard stowage on the back which is very useful for a single engine motorboat. And talking of engines we've got a lovely great big uh, uh, Mercury is a 4.3 litres engine V6 underneath here. To get to it, all we need to do is pull this deck panel out, nice and easy. Take this one out, uh, nice and easy, not too heavy, and you can get to the great big engine lump down there. And also down there, we've obviously got all the other bits and pieces. We have batteries, we have all sorts of other bits and pieces that, that go to make this boat. What a lovely boat she is. Now, back up in the cockpit, once we've laid this all down, you can see we've got seating to starboard. Now, that's for one person, really, to uh, nestle and relax in the corner there same to porch which i'm sitting on at the moment we have a stereo speaker there we've got one either side in the cockpit and we've got one either side down below as well which we'll see shortly uh, reasonably easy companion way to get through there bit of a climb over the uh, over the nice high combing here actually which serves to uh, feel give you that feeling of protection inside here should you uh, want to feel it at sea etc but if you wanted to you could roll the back of the uh, the uh, cockpit tent up and come in from the swim platform through the companion way here and in really nice and easy especially if you're berth stern too very nicely T very nice talking about the cockpit tent as you can see we have one fitted that goes all the way over the cockpit, all the way over the helm. Um, various bits can be taken off and put away for the day, etc. We can uh, take either side down, we can take the back down or roll them up out the way uh, to give us protection from the sun and the wind. You can see uh, she would benefit from uh, some work. I mean, I don't think a valet will get all of this off, but I think it would really help perhaps some reproofing, etc. But I do think that there is some life left in this cockpit tent, even though it doesn't look completely brand new, but uh, I think things could be improved. So there we go. Looking forwards, you can see that we've got a nice bench seat here for two or three people facing aft. All over this boat, we've got double sockets seemingly everywhere. Somebody liked to plug a lot of things in on this boat at one point, which is great. You can never have too many sockets. And then if I just move myself from the port seat, there you go, there's a quick uh, look at that. We can see we've got the battery isolator underneath here and we've got what I think is a fresh water tank. Oh uh, yes, it is a fresh water tank content indicator there nestled next to the port speaker. Very nice indeed. Now if I just stand up, and uh, look towards the helm we'll go there in a moment you can see that's the view forwards we've got great sideways views and if i just turn around we've got a really good view backwards as well so if we're hoofing along at speed uh then we oops sorry i just knocked the seat over there if we're hoofing along at speed then we've got a really really good view all the way around for those all important coal regs you shall keep a lookout at sea etc very nice so let's move forwards and look at the helm area. So here we go. We've got a, a bench seat here for uh, certainly two people, maybe a, a bit of a squeeze for three. But once you're in, you've got uh, you've got your feet up here and uh, it's all nice and comfortable. And uh, let's see what we've got. So we have got the throttle here. We've got to up and down control. Uh, we've got the DSC VHF here, uh, fuel tanks content indicator, batteries, boat speed, engine speed, engine temperature and engine oil pressure. We've got AIS here as well. We've got trim indicators. We've got some electrical uh, switches, uh, bow, bow up and down control here, wheel steering, and we have the depth gauge here. And uh, to the left, we've got uh, Navtex and nestled in this little uh, water resistant cupboard here, we've got a nice Pioneer stereo for those of you who want to listen to uh, to music at sea. Very nice. And there again is a view forwards and the, uh, the compass, which I think could probably do with a little bit of attention, but uh, all the same, all good. Now we have got a companion way in the middle of the screen here. So what we can do is unzip these two zips here, roll it back or fold it back or throw it back, open the windscreen and there's nice easy access to the uh to the foredeck there if you don't fancy clambering along the side deck so really good so uh, let's carry on the tour shall we so down below this uh, door or this uh, double door that hinges nice and out of the way so it's not swinging out of the way everywhere takes us down below so i'll just uh, get out of the seat get myself ready to go down as you can see before just have a quick look before we do go down we've got to step down into this well here and then a couple of steps around the corner down into the accommodation very very conventional like lots of other power boats of this kind of size and design so let's uh, pop down one step and take a look inside shall we so here we go 
that's the inside of this boat. To the left, we've got this uh, modular galley arrangement, and uh, the rest of the cabin is given away to this uh, seating stroke sleeping arrangement. We have got an infill here, so this makes into one gigantic bed. To the right, we've got the head where we'll look in a moment, and uh, just aft of that, we've got the little after cabin. So I'll go further on down. So one, two, three steps in. Head height's about five foot nine, five foot ten, something like that. The first thing we come to is the galley. If we start at the top, you can see we've got a nice handy little uh, a shelf here for all our bits and pieces, fiddled so the cups don't fall out, etc, etc. Uh, we've got nice headlining down here as well. And I have to say, it does smell nice down here as well, so it is a pleasant place to be. Quite a big galley for a boat of this size, so we've got plenty of work surface that's all nicely fiddled to stop those drips and dribbles over the edge. We've got uh, an alcohol-type... Uh, cooker here one burner so we can use that at sea when we're not connected to the electrics we've got a sink here as well with uh, running water just cold though i believe uh, but generally speaking not too cramped we do find that uh, galley areas like this on boats of this size are quite often often a little bit cramped we've got a small fridge underneath here very handy for the beers draw uh, a cupboard here and a nice large cupboard here for all your bits and pieces and uh, yeah something to hang on to here whilst we're clattering across the sea at high speed we have a couple of extinguishers on board which is great and again i've mentioned the uh, the double sockets everywhere which is brilliant too and i think the windows i think they've all oxid oxidized over time so no view out of those so perhaps somebody might want to uh, actually replace them and get a bit more sunlight down here i think that's uh, what's happened i'd need to check outside but let's look forwards into the cabin we've got nice carpet down here we've got nice upholstery nice carpet around the uh, the sides of the boat as well I, I should have put this up for you actually as well we have a nice extension to the galley there as well so somebody can uh, that can be used for dra draining plates on or anything else chopping uh, cucumbers etc but uh, beneath these seats we have storage here we don't have storage under here we do have storage under here this boat isn't short of storage actually there's plenty of room for all your bits and pieces nice padded backrests and uh, generally just a nice area to sit and eat we have a table here here, a, a round cockpit table that we can place down here and I think probably upstairs in the cockpit too but generally a nice place to be somewhere nice to sit and enjoy yourself to relax after a hard day at sea if I just switch sides to the port side, we we'll look at the forward bulkhead. I can see we have LED lights here. We have port and starboard speakers. We have a small electrical panel up forward that serves for the uh, the nav lights, etc. And then this bulkhead here does swing open and gives you inside access to the anchor locker, which isn't just an anchor locker. There's all sorts of uh, bits and pieces in there. You can keep hose pipes in there, etc., etc. But uh, really nice, lovely, great big bed. Once it's made into double, plenty of room for guests or uh, a weekend. Uh, or, or a couple for uh, a weekend or longer. Looking up, you can see we've got a hatch here. So if you open this, then we're going to have lots of light and air down below. It's got a cover on at the moment, although the cover has seen better days. And we have a fly screen here too as well. So you should be able to lie here with the fresh air and no mosquitoes, etc. On the after bulkhead there in the corner, we've got a nice flat screen TV, quite a recent addition. There's provision for uh, a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide alarm up here by the looks of it. Uh, I think the smoke alarm battery has, be, uh, has gone, which is why it's been taken down and also a provision for a fire blanket there too so the the basics that you need for a boat of this size in an area like this there's a view aft you can see the nice and easy companion way down plenty of room around the galley the nice sitting and sleeping area and we can also see access to the uh, I'll, I'll refer it to as a cabin although it's not strictly a cabin because it doesn't close a door but we do have a curtain that pulls across but before we get there let's uh, open the door to the head here we go nice and easy straight down on your right hand side as you come down the companion way we have a mirror on the back of the door and once you're in we've got good headroom probably about uh, five five nine five ten we've got the manual toilet in the corner sort of facing port forward and a window on the outboard side a little uh, cute little sink and we have a cupboard for all your bits and pieces on the forward bulkhead so pretty much everything you'd need inside a head for a boat like this and if i just close that door and then duck down because we do have to duck down because this part of the boat which i'll again i'll refer to as the after cabin is underneath where the helm seat is so uh, you would only be sitting in here or sleeping we've got an opening window up there which is great so that's light air and ventilation and actually the head height in this cabin uh, for a boat of this type is I would assess as good because you're not going to feel all claustrophobic and also the aperture or the hole or the companionway that you crawl into isn't as small as some I've seen so I quite like that and once you're in you can see we've got a lovely great big shelf here we've got a lovely great big bed 
probably much larger than a double bed, I should imagine. And I think it's almost completely the athwart ship's beam of the boat. You can't see behind there because we've got duvets and things tucked in behind there, but uh, all looking good. Here's the uh, cockpit table. I think this is probably used as the internal table or vice versa. And here's the infill for the uh, for the forward berth, if we want to make it into a double. So all really nice and as it should be. Okay, I will... Uh, I will uh concede that uh, various places on this boat just need to wipe through that's just where she's not been used regularly lately and it does seem like most of it is is just a, a bit of a wipe job to be honest so all really good so this has been tim from boat shed rock brokers just taking you for a quick tour around the interior of this sea ray 230 hope you've enjoyed the tour and uh, there's my seat that i will put back up shortly but uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon for lots more pictures information virtual reality and videos just go to boatshedbrighton.com take care